If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have the first house rules of the year. Now, house rules is exciting for a few reasons. First off, I'm in the I need some head to head wins, and I'm really hoping house rules counts towards that. Uh, if you guys know by the time I post this video, comment it down below because obviously I'm making this video. I'm hoping it does because they're easy, easy games to get finished, and I really need house rules wins. I need head to head wins for Cam Chancellor. So that's really all I'm missing left for him. Also, it gives a free player. I love some free players. As you guys have probably seen by my team, I have a bunch of free players on there. I collect everyone. I mean, even if they end up being backups, it's just cool to get some free stuff, some easy training, some easy overalls getting up, you know? Also, my Xbox does come back in today. It's finally being shipped back from Texas after being repaired for what felt like years but yeah that's coming back today so perfect timing got a house rules to play a new xbox come back should be a fun time and yeah house rules is always fun if you guys know what house rules is it's pretty much a limited time head-to-head -head game mode that does allow you to go ahead get easy rewards quicker games and fun game styles like it's usually not regular games like it'll be like there'll be certain special restrictions on it that make sure you can only like you can only use certain plays you can't pass you have to pass and run back and forth every time or you're gonna play college rules or you play like superstar ko it's always cool before we get into the video, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you guys haven't already, comment down below. Let me know, like I said, if you guys know if a counselor sets a headwinds. I know in the past they have limited that because people are getting too many easy heads headwinds, which would be really screwed up because like I have to play my head to head games and they keep killing my time with other things to make sure I don't get my cam. Kind of annoying. But yeah, so the house rules are out as you guys see here. Our house rules, our house, our rules change up the way you play with headset -head house rules. This event ends on 924 a week from today. So the today's gameplay or game will be tug of war, 10 offensive plays each, closest to end zone wins, touchdown or safety wins, earn a NCAT 88 overall, ultimate kickoff hero, and more. Now what's cool about this is this. Pretty much, guys, the way it works is you start off like they start off on their 20, you start off on your 20. If you throw a 30-yard pass, you're 30 yards ahead. If they throw a 30-yard pass, you guys are back at even. So pretty much it has to be you have to outgain them in yards and get to the other end. You only get 10 total plays. So if you if no one scores by then, pretty much gonna be whoever's closer to the uh the other end of their end zone, right? And the other cool thing about it is that if you get like a if you one play bomb them, like the game's over. It's like it's like OT at all times. If you score, you win. Or if they get you a safe, if they safe uh, get a safety on you, but like pretty much. It's not like in the end zone, it's like on the 20s. So if they if they sack you behind the 20, the game's over. So very cool, you know, send blitzes, keep them quick. Keep it quick, you know. There'll be there'll be a lot of ways to actually go ahead and finish these pretty quickly. But yeah, it's exciting. This uh, tug of war house rules is gonna be really cool. I'm excited to actually go ahead and play it. I just really hope it counselors head to head wins. Like please, EA. Head to head seasons is where you're gonna find it. You're gonna come on over here to seasons, you're gonna click on it, and you're gonna go over here to tug of war. You're not gonna you're not gonna miss it. Switch it up in house rules, get as many wins as possible to earn a NCAT 88 overall UK hero player. So, again, 10 plays each, close to end zone win, score touchdowns win instantly. Start now. You need to click on it and you go in, and obviously, you do all that. Now, let me, yeah, this option select is currently unavailable. So, of course, it just dropped a second ago, so give it some time. It did crash my game, of course. Why am I not surprised at it? I, I actually expect, I'm surprised it's even out, actually. So, let's not go ahead and push my luck. But moving on from that. Let's go check out all the rewards for it because, of course, you are going to be able to go ahead and get some rewards with this. It's not just going to be a plain and simple, you know, just plain and simple thing. So come over to the missions tab, and I believe you click on house rules. It does show you most. You were supposed to see the rewards here. Yep. So here you go. So five wins, right? And again, this is an easy game. Tug of War, you could literally play five games in like 20 minutes. Like, it's quick games. So five wins gets you a 76 plus open kickoff player. So you can use the 76 plus. If you get lucky, you can maybe pull a hero. You can make some sets. Uh, 10 wins is only 5k coins, 76 plus is 15 wins, and 20 wins is going to be, um, the coins, and then there's more beyond that, okay, here we go, 25 wins is your 88 overall NCAT ultimate kickoff hero, so in my opinion, guys, at least play to 25, after that, you can do what you want, honestly, you don't have to play beyond that, because the rewards after that are subpar, it's kind of like, if you just enjoy the game mode, okay, if it counts for head-to-head -head wins, if it counts for head-to-head -head win, guys, I cannot stress this enough, you want to go ahead and spam the hell out of this mode, because 75 head-to-head -head games, will take you weeks if you don't play consistently or months I, I only have like half and i've had this game for almost a month because i'm just so much youtube so much solos the xbox broke you know like and that's me doing this daily imagine people with jobs and lives and family and stuff like that like it's gonna be a lot harder so guys if this counts towards head to head wins spam the hell out of this and go all the way down but 30 30 wins again the rewards are subpar after but the rewards don't matter what's gonna matter is those head to head wins and the easy coins 76 plus ultimate kickoff player then at 35 you get a 5,000 coins 40 wins you get two 76 pluses and at 45 wins you get 10 again 
If it counts as head-to-head wins, I'll go beyond 45. I'll keep playing. I'm telling you, these games go quick. People will quit. Sometimes they'll get into it like, or people, even if they don't quit, I'm telling you, these games, okay, 10 total plays, right? You can run 10 total plays in under like five minutes. And it's each, and by the way, someone's going to score, whether it's you or them. Someone's going to score. And not to mention the fact that you might get a sack to start. Like, you might literally get a sack right away. And they might fumble and get a safety instantly. Like, that could happen. You get one play bombed, you know. Um, you can do a lot of things. And you only have, the thing is, you only have 10 plays. So you can't just, you're not going to verse the losers who, like, you know, come out and they halfback dive, power, and just three yards, three yards, three yards, and take advantage or whatever. No, because if they only get three yards and you come out and you do a deep post and get 40, 30, 40 yards, you're going to beat them. Like, they can't play like that. So, they got to come out bombs away. So, not bombs away necessarily. You can do drags. You can do simple stuff. But you have to really push the tempo on that. Overall, the game should go pretty quick. Like I said, it's not going to be a game where people come out and drag you to death. Like, they can. But if you're even decent at this game, you can just hit them with something deep and they're going to come right out of that. Like, if you get one big play, that's it. If you start the game and you hit them with like a 30, 40, 25 yard play, they're not coming out and drags. They're going to come out deep. Easy pick. You get one pick, you run, you can run it back for a touchdown in the game. You could, you know, take some yards back from them. It's going to be very easy to just go ahead and really get these games going quick. That's what I love about it. You could play a realistically a head-to-head -head game, right? And people really don't quit as often as you think, especially unless you're really good at the game, right? If you're like decent, you keep the score pretty close, especially on next gen with defense. People just aren't quitting there. That's why current gen has been very nice, actually. People quit here all the time. Next gen, they know that defense sucks. They'll stay in the game and bomb you away. Uh, head to head game, I'd say on average, takes me about 35 to 40 minutes to get 75 wins for the cam, do all that stuff. That would probably take you like at like right 24 hours. Let's just say 30 minutes each. Let's just say, right? That means you can do, if you play 24 hours straight, you get 48 wins. So you essentially have to play like 48 hours to get this done. And let's say you only put like an, you do two head to head games per day. It'll take you about, a, it'll take you over a month of playing two every single day straight, which doesn't even happen. So take advantage if that is the case. We don't know yet. I will know soon once it works. But yeah, that's about it for that, guys. Now, you do get the 88 overall kickoff player. Now, guys, my best recommendation right now is a lot of you guys probably already got like three or four from kickoff players for free like I did. So you probably already are wondering who's left. If you haven't already, guys, this is what I've been doing. This is my kind of my mantra for taking my free players this year. Go offensive line. There's a Corey Lindsley that's really good. There's a Joe Thune. There's an Eric Fisher. There's going to be an Alex Mack. And there's going to be a who else was there? There was more Kevin Zeitler. And was there any more? Okay, Kevin Zeitler and Bud Dupree. Those are the guys I'm taking right now. So if you don't have any, if you don't, if you don't have all those guys already, take one of them. Bud Dupree is a very budgety, good speed, hit power, pass rushing edge, uh, edge linebacker just to fill your team. I don't really, you know, if you put even if you put a safety there, I'll get your overall up. Uh, Kevin Zeitler, you know, all these the, the offensive linemen are decent, but they're free. So um, I already have, I have, um, I'm not sure. I think I have, I have Pouncey at center from the other program. I do have Eric Fisher already. I think I'm going for Kevin Zeitler with my next one. Just take a whole offensive line, guys. I'm telling you, I built an entire free offensive line. It's the best thing I ever did. They, they work. They function. I didn't have to spend a cent on players that are, you know, offensive line sucks for Madden. Not in real life, but in Madden, it sucks because first off, offensive lines, like one play, they get destroyed. One play, they, they kill them. You know, There's no consistency no matter how good your offensive line is. You can have Zach Martin. You could have Larry Allen. There's no consistency, but if you don't have them, you notice it. And if you do have them, you don't notice it. So like, it just sucks to pay for them and you can't use them. Like, there's no excitement about buying them. You just spend a, to get a good offensive line, 200k each. Like it's gonna be a million coins. And you don't notice it. So that's why I recommend going ahead, taking your free ones. They get the job done and do that throughout the year. It's an easy way to upgrade them. Like team of the year, I pulled like free Zach Martin before at a team of the year. I'm like, okay, actually that's not bad. I mean, I just put him there. 350k lineman. It's very easy. But yeah, take your lineman. If you're not gonna take a lineman, I would recommend, like I said, going for the Bud Dupree next. And if you really are itching for speed, like you need speed, I mean, maybe go Everett or go uh, Will Fuller. But again, you have the free Tyree Kill. You have the free um, Jalen Waddle if you want. There's so many free options for speed this year. Really no point for that. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell. Comment down below again if you played house rules and you know it does count towards your wins. Head to head wins. Go check that out in the Camp Chancellor Missions tab. But yeah, thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Sub. Turn on that notification bell. Comment down below. I'm out. Peace.